Our next topic will be about the principles of hydrostatics. So first, we are going to discuss about the unit pressure. It is the force per unit area exerted by a liquid or gas on a body or surface with the force acting at right angles to the surface uniformly in all directions. So unit pressure is given by the formula P is equal to force over area. And according to Pascal's law, it states that the pressure on a fluid is equal in all directions and in all parts of the container which is developed by the French mathematician Blaise Pascal. And for the absolute and gauge pressures, gauge pressures are pressures above or below the atmosphere and can be measured by pressure gauges or manometers, while atmospheric pressure is the pressure at any one point on the Earth's surface from the weight of the air above it. So these are all the conversions for the atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric pressure is 180 m or 14.7 psi or also equal to 101.325 kilopascal, also equal to 760 millimeter mercury, also equal to 29.9 inches mercury, and is also equal to 2,166 pound per feet squared. And the absolute pressure is the pressure above absolute zero or vacuum, which is a space that has all matter removed from the surface. So the absolute pressure is equal to the sum of the gauge and the atmospheric pressure. So take note that the absolute zero is attained if all air is removed. It is the lowest possible pressure attainable and can never be negative. The smallest gauge pressure is equal to the negative of the ambient atmospheric pressure. So there are variations in pressure. For example, in a situation where the difference in pressure between any two points in a homogeneous fluids at rest is equal to the product of the unit weight of the fluid to the vertical distance between the points. If we have different points on a uniform fluid at rest, so the first point is, has a pressure of P1, the second point has a pressure of P2, the difference of that is equal to the product of the specific weight of the fluid and the vertical distance between the points. So if P1 lies on the free liquid surface, so P1 will be automatically equal to zero. So P is equal to uh, unit weight times height. And so if we are going to divide, if we are going to get for the pressure head, or H, given this equation, we can have H is equal to P over specific weight, where H is the pressure head or the height of a column of homogeneous liquid of unit weight that will produce an intensity of pressure. So there are several types of instruments used in measuring pressure. So one of that is the manometer. And manometer has three types, the open type, the differential type, and the piezometer as illustrated here. And so for example, we are going to solve the pressure 12.5 meters below the ocean. And we are going to use specific gravity of 1.034 salt water. Given H is 12.5 meters and the specific gravity of 1.03. And so we are going to use the formula P is equal to specific weight times height. And based on the specific weight of the water, which is 9.81 kN per meter cube, we have to multiply the specific gravity of the salt water, 1.03 times the height or the head is 12.5 meters. So that will be equal to 126.3 kPa. Second example, if the pressure 23 meters below a liquid is 338.445 kPa, determine its unit weight. So given H is 23, P is 338.445 kPa. So we are going to use this formula in calculating for the specific weight. So pressure is 338 kN per meter squared and H is 23 meters dividing the two values that will be equal to 14.715 kN per meter cube. Third example, if the pressure at a point in the ocean is 60 kPa, what is the pressure 27 meters below this point? And we can also use for 
the specific gravity of the salt water which is 1.03 since it lies in the ocean. And given P1 is 60 kilopascal, H is 27 meters, we are going to calculate the second pressure. So using this formula, P2 minus P1 is equal to specific weight times height. And then adding both sides by P1, so that is P1 plus gamma H. And then P1 is 60, gamma is 9.81 but multiplied by specific gravity of the ocean water that is 1.03 then h is 27 and so the second pressure 27 meters below the reference point wherein the pressure is 60 kilopascal is 332.82 kilopascals. So that is it about the principles of hydrostatics for our next topic that will be all about fundamentals of fluid flow. For your questions, comment on our discussion.